I am Professor P. C. Vengadeswarlu, Department of Biotechnology, Vignans Foundation for Science, Technology and Research. So today's lecture topic is production of vinegar. So the contents in the topic: introduction about vinegar, types of vinegar, and raw materials required for vinegar production, biosynthesis of acetic acid, steps in production process, and methods of vinegar fermentation. recovery of acetic acid factors affecting the production of acetic acid applications summary quiz questions followed by references so coming to the introduction so the vinegar is a alcoholic liquid so it is sour in taste so vinegar it can be primarily used as a flavoring agent and also it can be used for preserving various food materials for example so in a house for in a houses in for a, for example for household applications this vinegar is used for enhancing the flavor and also for preserving uh, food materials so in pickling process we can use this vinegar so a pickling is a basically preserving the food materials for a long time so this preservation of foods usually you can uh, done either running anaerobic fermentation process in a salt solution or other way is we can uh, immerse food material in vinegar so this vinegar has commercial significance that's what in food industries so the vinegar it consists of 4 to 20% of acetic acid so this acetic acid is produced by fermentation so it was reported that by louis pacher the alcohol is oxidized to acetic acid by a single species of bacteria so acetic acid is a weak organic acid so which is also called it as ethanoic acid so there are different types of the vinegar so these types vary the based on kind of raw material used for production of vinegar so we have a apple cider vinegar so we have a balsamic vinegar cane vinegar coconut vinegar date vinegar and distilled vinegar fruit vinegar and spirit vinegar so these are all no varied names it can be varied based on a kind of raw material is used for formulation and also there is another point needs to add here the acetic acid percent is varied based on the type of vinegar so the raw materials required for production of this vinegar we need apple juice can preferably use or grape juice orange juice hydrolyzed starchy materials or beer wine etc will be preferred as a raw materials for formulating medium in production of acetic acid so the wine and apple juice they are best raw materials for producing a vinegar so the quality of the vinegar production it is typically depends upon what the quality of the raw materials so the raw material quality is good so we will get a good quality product so the microorganisms used in vinegar production so we can use you know acetic acid bacteria so this acetic acid bacteria has long history in production of the acetic acid so this organism has ability to oxidize the ethanol to acetic acid so for example we can use the acetobacterium species example acetobacterium acetai and acetobacteria bacteria jailinum these are all preferred in our columns for production of acetic acid and you can use the clostridium species for example clostridium thermoacetylicum you can use so this is all typical uh, view of uh, acetobacteria you can see here the biosynthesis of the acetic acid so that for producing the acetic acid i told the ethanol is a primary raw material it is a main substrate so during the biosynthesis process the ethanol is oxidized to acetaldehyde 
by the action of alcohol dehydrogenase. And in the second step, you can observe in the figure, there is an addition of water by hydration reaction. This acetaldehyde is converted to acetaldehyde hydrate. And we have a second uh, oxidation stage where acetaldehyde hydrate by the action of acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, it forms you know, acetic acid. The steps in this process you can see oxidation of ethanol, hydration of acetaldehyde and oxidation of acetaldehyde hydrate. So the steps in production process, step 1 is the ethanol fermentation because ethanol is the primary substrate for production of acetic acid. So this ethanol fermentation it requires the yeast. So we need uh, different uh, materials for formulating the medium. We can use the pulp and we can use other nutritional sources and we have to run the fermentation process to produce the ethanol. So after fermentation process, so we have a biomass and we have other sediments. So these sediments can be get removed by a settling process. Basically, you can use filtration method for separating the biomass. And the storage takes two to three weeks and you have a racking is also a stage in ethanol fermentation. The racking it is in general, it is a clarification process. So the step two is adjusting the concentration of alcohol. So alcohol concentration the 10 to 13 percent is readily fermented. It is the optimized percentage range of the alcohol to produce acetic acid by the bacteria. So suppose if the alcohol concentration is increases 14 percent, we can see that the results is the incomplete oxidation. So we can use the two and also a low concentration of this alcohol. So the results is you can produce the loss of vinegar. That's what it is a very critical stage. You have to adjust the concentration of alcohol. Preferably you can use 10 to 13 percent. And step three is acidification. So the purpose of this acidification is to inhibit the development of the undesirable type of bacteria. Usually other bacteria will not grow at a very acidic pH. And also this uh, step it helps for a desirable acetic acid bacteria will grow fast. So and this step requires you know, there is an addition of 10 to 25 percent of uh, strong vinegar is added at the start of the process. Step 4 is oxygen supply. Here the acetic acid production is an aerobic process. So that's what you know in a fermentation process while running the process we need to supply the oxygen. So this high aeration is very much essential to get a good quality of the product. So during the aerobic fermentation process we can see the reaction here the ethanol oxidized to produce the acetaldehyde which undergoes again oxidation to produce acetic acid. So this step now the temperature where you can use in during a process the temperature range 26 to 32 is preferred and fifth step is supporting medium. So we need to add the supporting materials to enhance the surface area. So if there is more surface area on your supporting material, so which is very much essential to accelerate the growth of inoculated cells. Because for enhancing this supporting material is usually you can use beech wood materials. So this beech wood materials has some perforated surface. So on which you now you can coat the biofilm of acetobacter for producing acetic acid. So we can see in a diagram here, so this represents uh, a, a beech wood materials. And step 6 is the packing, for packing materials we have a, a certain characteristics. So it does not uh, importing the color or flavor and you should not produce any toxic substance 
and the material should not remove the desirable color matter. So for storing this vinegar, use your containers that can be made with oak wood, stainless steel or glass or you can use a high pure aluminum materials. So by, while packing, so we need to pack, fill this vinegar completely to prevent or to avoid the oxidation of acetic acid to CO2 and H2. So the methods of the vinegar fermentation, so there are two methods for producing acetic acid. So one is the trickling method, trickling generator you can use, this is a fast method for production of vinegar and other one is the submental fermentation process. So you can see the trickling method, it is a fast method, quick method for production of vinegar. So this method involves you know, the spraying of the substrate from the top side of your chamber. While passing the substrate, the, the fermentation reaction occurs for release of acetic acid. So we can see the typical view of the trickling generator here. So it is a cylindrical tank. So this tank, it can be filled up with a wooden shaving material. You can see there is a dark shade. So that the shade is now, it is, it can, this is filled up with a beech wood material. So now from the top side, so we can uh, sprinkle the substrate. The substrate is ethanol. So now this is a sprinkled substrate passes through the wooden material. So this wooden material is already coated with biofilm of acetobacter species. And they, once the substrate can be get utilized by acetobacter species and where it oxidizes the ethanol into the acetic acid. So this process is a aerobic fermentation process. It requires the supply of air. So you can see in the diagram here, there is a provision for pumping of air. You can observe in the bottom, bottom side and also there is a provision in the bottom for recovery of the vinegar. So you can see the here the reaction, the ethanol by oxidation can produce acetic acid. And second process is submerged fermentation process. The submerged fermentation process is well preferred process for the producing bulk quantity of the vinegar. Because this is a faster method and it also produces the high yield. That's what it is a preferred method for producing vinegar. The submerged process, so in this process where we can inoculate the acetobacter species into the liquid medium. So that we have to formulate the medium first. For formulating medium we need raw material. You can see in a flow chart here. So raw materials can be used for formulation of the medium. So which also requires, you know, there is an addition of uh, nutrients, complex nutrients you can add, you can supply the vitamins and uh, addition of amino acids also essential to accelerate the production. And there is an addition of sulfur dioxide also. It is very much essential to control the oxidation. Our upstream process talks about selection of material, formulation of medium. From that you can make the alcohol stocks because alcohol is a primary substrate for production of acetic acid. So during acidification by the, in the fermentation stage, your starter culture that is your inoculum acetobacter species, they can convert the alcohol to acetic acid. So acidification is basically is a reaction. This we can see whenever there, there is a formation of acetic acid from alcohols, we can observe acidification. So once acidification is completed, your product is ready, then you can go for downstream processing. The downstream processing, it talks about the recovery, purification of the synthesized product that is your vinegar. So this uh, steps includes uh, for recovery of this one, you need sedimentation, you can use the clarification, pressurization and filtration of the unit operations are used for recovery of vinegar. The submerged fermentation process I told it has uh, various advantages compared to the surface uh, fermentation process. The primarily it can produce high yield, the reason is they can produce high yield 
and the process is also fast. So the addition of we have supplied the sulfur dioxide at a specified concentration, this is very much essential to control the ox oxidation and you need to supply the complex nutrients like uh, you can supply vitamins, other minerals and amino acids. And so you can see here there is an acidification during this process. I told acidification. So, is, so this usually you can observe whenever the alcohol in a wine is converted to acetic acid, you can see the acidification reaction. So the vinegar production, so it consists of two consecutive steps. The step one is the alcohol fermentation. So this alcohol fermentation requires the action of yeast. So this yeast cells they can convert the sugars to ethanol. Then second stage is the acetic acid fermentation where oxidation will occur for conversion of alcohol to acetic acid by acetic acid bacteria. So the process is, is a acetic acid bacteria is an aerobic organism. So we can see here the typical diagram. So which here the pictorial view of the consecutive steps in acetic acid production. So we can observe here the step one is the yeast fermentation for production of ethanol. And the step two, you can see in the second reactor, their acetic fermentation process for release of acetic acid. So where the inoculum is, you can add acetic acid bacteria. So once the process is completed, you can go for recovery, you will get the acetic acid. Here the submerged fermentation process, so it requires you know, a, a proper agitation and it requires you know, proper aeration. So this agitation is the mixing process and aeration is the supply of oxygen. So these two are very much essential for a submerged fermentation process. So uh, during the aeration, the air bubbles which can uh, carry the oxygen source, so which can be distributed to the each and every corner of the tank, where inside the tank the cells are growing. So we can see here in the, in the animation view, there is a aeration process in a agitated tanks. See there is a formation of the uh, gas bubbles. So in the figure you can see here that it is a typical uh, extraction unit, the solvent extraction unit for recovery of acetic acid. Here the aqueous feed is nothing but your fermentation broth. So it contains uh, 1 to 30 percent of acetic acid is fed into a extraction unit here, where the, our uh, acetic acid it moves to a extract phase and bottom side will get a raffinate. This raffinate it can be sent into a, a second unit that is a stripping column here, raffinate stripping it can be done for recovery of the solvent. Then so the, the extract layer you can send into a distillation unit for for separation of acetic acid and you can separate the solvent also that can send back to the extraction unit for recycling purpose. So we can use the different types of solvents. So we can use uh, ethyl acetate or we can use isopropyl acetate for extraction of acetic acid from the broth. Here the process flow diagram, so it includes extraction unit. And you have a stripping unit to recover a solvent from the raffinate phase and you have a distillation column I told to separate acetic acid and also a recovery of solvent. So the, the typical solvents you can use for a recovery of acetic acid which includes the ethyl acetate, you can use isopropanoid propyl acetate and you can use methyl tartibutyl ether. So the different factors which affect the production of acetic acid. So we can see the selection of organism. So any fermentation uh, process for producing the different metabolites, it is influenced by the type of inoculum. That's what the selection of a inoculum is a crucial for a producing the good quality of the product and also for producing high quantity of the product. 
for uh, acetic acid production so we can use you know glucobacter species or we can use acetobacter species for producing large quantity of acetic acid and second factor is the nature of raw materials so the raw material typically they can 30 to 40 percent of the total cost it is depends upon what kind of raw materials you are using for your fermentation process so you can always choose a low cost material and that should yield the high quantity of the product and also a concentration of the ethanol i told ethanol is a primary substrate the concentration for producing the acetic acid it must contain 13 percent 13 percent is the optimum and oxygen supply is also affect the production process i told that this acetic acid fermentation process is aerobic process so this process requires you know a continuous aeration is required aeration is supply of oxygen if good aeration is there you will get a good quality of the product and also you can get the good quantity of the product also and in nature of supporting medium the supporting medium is very much essential for supporting medium we can use you now wood sticks in a trickle generators you can use and the temperature of the medium is also essential and boiling point pasteurization aging storage and clarification will also affect the quality of the product commercial applications in food industry it can be used for preservation and also it can be used in fiber industry for manufacturing of the fibers and in perfume industries the acetic acid is used for preparation of perfumes and clinically the acetic acid is used as an antiseptic against the bacterial infections and rubber industries can be used for manufacturing of the rubber and also in dye preparations it can be used for making dyes and inks summary the acetic acid is an important chemical it can be used primarily as food preservative so it is a clear and colorless solution sour in taste the acetic acid it can be produced both by synthetic method and by a, a bacterial fermentation process so our biotechnology subject it focuses on a microbial fermentation process then acetic acid bacteria will prefer for producing acetic acid i told acetobacter species gluconobacter are preferred for producing acetic acid this bacteria can oxidize the ethanol a primary substrate into the acetic acid under aerobic conditions the different substrates you can use for production of acetic acid which includes you know, the wine apple cider fruits you can you can use you know, malted barley as substrates for production of acetic acid so the fermentation methods for vinegar making you can use a trickling generator it is a quick method for production of vinegar and you can use the submergible fermentation process for production of vinegar so these are all quiz questions quiz questions then these are all references needs to follow for this topic the view of reactors used for production of uh, acetic acid thank you thank you all